Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 International Rose of Tralee is... Philadelphia! Maria Walsh! On the Ferris wheel, to be honest with you. Uh, life has been a little bit hectic, um, which has been great. Um, combination of um, meeting a bunch of younger people as they come up and meet me and their parents, um, going to Crow Park, watching Mayo lose, but we'll get over that. Uh, and then last night off the Late Late Show, so it's been a pretty much been a really good high. Late Late was great. It was. Um, it was really banter filled. Ryan was in a great mood for a show back. It was a wonderful honour to to be the first guest on, on the new, on the new season back. Um, it was great that my family uh, and Anthony and his wife Una were in the audience, which was nice. A lot of people don't think it, but um, Philadelphia has a huge Irish population. A lot of a lot of um, not so much younger people who moved into the city. Um, I'm probably one of the very few, um, but a lot of people who've been there for like 30, 40, 50 years, a lot of Mayo people, a lot of Tyrone, um, Armagh, stuff like that, so um, they've set up a great foundation. Uh, the, uh, my Philly Rose Centre is has been up and running for 12 years and, and is still going strong. We send great representatives each year. Um, Irish Dance, the community out there is, is always featured somewhere in the World Championships. Um, and Gaelic Games obviously is, is high in every community across the diaspora but in particularly Philadelphia so I was in I was in New York for two years and then I've been uh, I celebrate my third anniversary actually sometime this month um, in Philadelphia no I, I it was just on a whim it was on a job opportunity anthropology um, a former co-worker that I worked with in New York was moving down she said he interested and I said yeah and and she goes maybe you should move down to the city maybe you should go for the weekend to Philadelphia just to see what it's like um, and I said no no if I don't like it I'll, I'll move on after a year and I'll just see how it goes and three years later I can't get enough of it and uh, but that's the best things always happen unexpectedly right he, I think I had moved into the city a day and someone they it's like a GPS they have a tracker on you they found me the Notre Dame ladies uh, email the next day to say hey we we pretty much just registered you we've trained the next week um, it's huge I mean like I said, the Irish find each other, and, and you need that base. You need a really strong home base when you come into a new city. Yeah. Whether you know them or not, you have a strong connection, obviously, because they're Irish. Um, Gaelic football has always been in my blood. I started playing when I moved here when I was seven. So, uh, you know, the stigma towards the Rose of Tralee from some small critics, and I will say small, because yeah. if you meet, uh, is, is interesting because if you meet anybody on the street, I mean, I was talking to a bunch of people in the green room last night at the Late Late Show, and, and two girls, and actually, um, Joanne Burton's, uh, or Joan Burton, I should say, it's daughter and her and her friend went down there a couple of years ago and said it was the best weekend of their lives. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, it's always interesting to me for people who say that and maybe have never visited there, because when you think 200,000 people make the Rosa Trilly their family holiday, almost, the amount of young people that go down there, their families that are involved, um, those 200,000 people make it their annual trip, so how could there be any negative t stigma towards that? Uh, I think long before I even won the Rosa Trilly, it was modern, but it wasn't, hi you know, it wasn't highlighted as much. Yeah. Uh, if you meet any of the 69 roses that were part of this year, if any of them were sitting in my position now, you would be saying the same thing. Um, and all of last year's roses, and even I met uh, briefly all the form or all the roses of Trilly um, after it was announced um, that Tuesday night, and they're still as relevant and as modern and as beautiful and educated and on point and extremely strong women for us. No, they didn't, and I mean, if they did know, it was never in conversation yeah. with me. Uh, it was from from my understanding, and I, and I know from the rose Trilly. Sure. Uh, committee festival they nobody knew uh, which is, is not a bad thing does it does it matter I yeah, guess no yeah. uh, after the fact then when I when when I told them and I just prior to obviously doing the you interview told them just after yeah yeah well uh, um, a journalist had called and we, we yeah. chatted about it and and they were delighted I mean for them you know I was chosen under so many different merits course, yeah. which is great I wasn't chosen because of one thing that I identified with I was chosen because I identify and I represent all the seven or the 69 other roses this year uh, because I'm a, a obviously an identity and I'm a part and I'm ambassador of the roses really they yeah. take an apolitical um, yeah. 
uh, stance on it. So while I wouldn't comment on anything political, I mean, I will say this, I, I am gay, so obviously someday I hope I can, um, and I will be married, uh, and if any country that I call home welcomes that, that's great.